doing a quick video on how we can take a look and see if there's any applications that are vulnerable to the uh, new WebP vulnerability that Google announced. Really the best way to go ahead and find this in your network is just going to be to go ahead and look for that software uh, and then check the version against uh, you know known good versions or known bad versions of that particular bit of code. This is your uh, you know, elastic kind of home screen. Uh, we're logged into the default space. If you have one that's named uh, after your, uh, you know, company name or something like that, go ahead and use default instead. So from there, go ahead and click on hamburger menu up here. And we're going to scroll all the way down to OS query. And it's actually under management. So click here. And that's going to give you a history of, you know, all the different queries that have been run over time. But then we're going to go ahead and do a new live query. Make sure it's set to single query. Select our agents. Uh, so normally here you're going to want to filter the platform to Windows. Uh, assumption being that most of your Linux servers probably aren't really interacting with WebP Media. If they are, um, go ahead and you can uh, pick those as well. The query is going to be a little bit different. Uh, but if you can, uh, so you can pick by platform, by which policy is deployed, that kind of thing. If you did want to filter for your desktops, only certain machines, but we're going to go ahead and just pick Windows for now. Also, in this case, we're going to do select star from programs where name, uh, so, you know, just the name of the process that we're working with is like Google Chrome. So this is going to give us an idea of all places that Google Chrome is installed uh, on any of those 13 servers that I pick from the agent list. I can go ahead and hit submit. And it's going to take a little while to actually go out and run that query against all of your machines and then start reporting things back. But you should start seeing data pretty quickly. And it's going to give you every uh, installation of that individual application. Uh, and then you can go ahead and expand this out as well, uh, filter by the version. So uh, Google Chrome. Uh, it actually has a vulnerable version that's in the uh, 1.16 series. Uh, so we'll go ahead and make sure that that's attached to the video here so you can get the exact version that you're looking for things to be over. Uh, but as long as you're over that version, uh, everything's fine. You don't need to worry about it. Anything that comes in that's under that version, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and follow up on. This gives you an idea of how to get look for Google Chrome. Uh, you actually can just select do a select star from programs and get all of your, the programs that are installed in your uh, network at once, export those to like a CSV file, and then just search against those later as you find out things that are vulnerable or basically just look through the list of programs that are installed. Uh, so you can go chase them down and see if anything is worrisome. Uh, but you also can add additional lines to this. So you can do, uh, you know, right underneath like Google Chrome, we can add like Microsoft Teams, like Firefox, like really anything that uh, any application that's going to be installed and show up in Adobe programs, which should be everything in Windows. Uh, you can very quickly go here and just put in the name and go ahead and search for it across all of your machines.